Callum, welcome back. It must have been so rough for you picking up that injury right at the point that you did, especially in the context of what's happening with injuries for Newcastle right now. Yeah, I mean, I'd had a little setback previous to that, so you're kind of rushing yourself back to, to try and help the team. Unfortunately, it come to the detriment of myself again, but that's what the players are willing to do at the moment. And uh, it was a difficult time. Called up for England again, um, had to withdraw through injury, which is never ideal, but... Um, you know, it gives you more motivation to get fit for right your rehab and make sure you come back stronger and stay back. And how are you feeling right now? Good, very good. Solid through it all? Yeah, I think um, when you put the work in behind the scenes, um, you know, you're confident then in your body going into the next block of games that you, you can cope with the demand. Well, we're switching back to Champions League mode. Is it mad going into a game where you could qualify for Champions League, mm -hmm. you could be in the Europa League, or you could be out completely? Yeah, I guess there's so many you know, different scenarios that can play out on the night. But all we can do is focus on what's in front of us. That's AC Milan, do our job, and then whatever's meant to be will be. Um, they're out of our control. But if we don't beat the team that's in front of us, then it's all for nothing anyway. And are those the conversations that you're sort of having in training, in the dressing rooms at the minute about this game? Um, yeah, I guess it's just getting the last game out of our mind, which we've done, um, focusing on the next one, and then... Basically, yeah, there's only one thing you, you need to do and it's go out and win. How do you view your chances of qualification? Yeah, I guess, you know, the boys and myself have worked hard to get us into this position in the first place um, last season and then we're here now. Um, beginning when the draw was, was given, if you would have said you've got this opportunity on the, on the last match day, um, yeah, you would have took it. So we find ourselves here and then, yeah, I guess, like I say, we've just got to beat the team that's in front of us now. And you have been so good at home this season. I don't know if you can relax going into a game like this, but is there a sense of, well, at least we're at home? No, because you're against top opposition. Um, we've, we've lost at home this season as well. So there's no guarantees that just because we're at home, we're guaranteed the victory. Um, we're playing against a, a great side in AC Milan and we're going to have to be 100% on the night to, and give everything to get, the, to get the victory, which we'll do. And hopefully it's enough, like I say, yeah. How important are the fans going to be tomorrow night? The fans here are always unbelievable. Um, it's part of the reason why I joined the football club. Um, and that was just for Premier League nights. So for Champions League nights here, I actually go back to the Paris game where unfortunately I wasn't fit for. I sat up in the, in the stands and watched it and was a little bit jealous that I wasn't down there with the boys sharing that experience. But it was an unbelievable occasion. Um, the fans played their part, as they always do. And I guess once you scored one goal against a top side, they pushed us on to, to score more. Well, Milan have got their injury problems as well. Mm -hmm. What type of game do you expect tomorrow? A difficult one. Um, we played them away from home. There was not much in it. Um, they started on top um, and, and had, a, had a fair few chances early on in the game, I remember. But... Um, yeah, as it went on, we relaxed a little bit, started playing our football. And I guess it's going to probably be the opposite, you know, in in reverse now. We're at home, we'll start fast and they'll probably try and slow it down, use tactics to, to game manage. And that's the kind of the night that it will be, I reckon. Both teams need a win mm -hmm. in this game. It was a goalless draw last time. Mm -hmm. Lightning can't strike twice, can it? It might be a goal fest this time. Um, like you say, we both need the victory, so both teams are going to have to go for it, especially as the game starts opening up and the later we go. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, that's when the gaps will start appearing, goals will start going in a little bit more if they haven't already. And then just finally, what have you made of this entire campaign so far for Newcastle? I think th at the moment, people are looking at it as a negative, but... We've played a lot of top sides. Um, we've played Manchester City, Man United twice, Arsenal, Liverpool, Paris, Dortmund, Milan. So when you look at that and then the results that we've gotten in most of those games, um, you know, minus the injuries that we've had, I think the season's been going, going well. I think um, you know, for us as a club, we have the utmost self-belief that we can get into the Champions League again. And, uh, and that's what we're working hard to do. And, we're currently still in a Champions League campaign. We're, we're in a quarterfinals of the Cup. So, you know, when you actually put things into perspective, things are okay. And do you dream about what it would be like if you could get the job done at home, the Newcastle fans 
and you were in to the, like, get that second spot in the Champions League? Of course. I think when, like I say, you go back to when the draw was given and you're looking at the fixtures and the way that things pan out, we knew that this game, you know, if we hadn't got the job wrapped up already, would be of big importance to us at home against Milan. We actually said this might be a defining moment and what a moment it would be to do it at home in front of the fans and, and give them something to remember for, for especially for the young fans' lives, yeah. As a footballer, these are the type of games you want to play, right? That's what dreams are made of, eh? That's why we try and do it, yeah.